So um, she doesn't want to admit this, but whenever we skated in the Olympics, I always got the gold and she got second place. Okay, I just got to the rink. We're gonna like Squash even the, the score. Yeah, even the score. You better watch out. <laughs> Look at what skates on. She got her skates on. I know, I have brand new skates. I'm scared. Hi. So Olivia and I have just been like warming up, just going through like our spins and our jumps, and just like you know, going through like all of them. Olivia's breaking in new skates. I feel like from the movie Ice Princess. <laughs> you bought me new skates. Why would you do that? <laughs> Your skates are the worst. You can't do anything. We did the first triple axles. session. <laughs> yep. The triple axles were amazing. That's why I didn't want to show you guys. Yeah, yeah no, like you don't want to give away my secret. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the session's done. It's over. So we're going to buy a new one. So we could do another session. Half of another session. because we've been going through like what like she remembers what I remember like coaching each other yeah I forget so many different like combos to jumps and like so it's so nice to like be able to like tell each other yeah what's what should we show them some jumps oh yeah I just got so tired of stealing the spotlight, so we're just gonna have her do like a few things so I don't look like I'm the star of the show. Just like back in the Olympics, Olivia. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a sit spin and I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Them. <laughs> no, but you got some double horns. It was pretty good though. Yeah. There's no way I could do it, so. Okay, but I'm gonna do a camel. That's pretty good. All right, on to uh, triple axles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Place goes to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? We gotta get the hell off. That was so much fun. It was so nice to be able to like skate with a friend and remember old moves that we used to do on the ice and help each other out with certain things and like film each other. That was honestly such a good time. I can't wait to like go again. But I'm exhausted. Exhausted. My body is limp. After this morning's workout at 7 a.m. and then coming here, we did two sessions. We added on. After our first session, we added on an extra session. So we had two hours just because we like wanted more time. I'm so hungry. I might take a nap when I get home. I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel. Let's go home. What are you doing? Tommy, stay. Tommy, I don't want to hurt you, buddy. You want a treat? You want a treat? Stay. Stay, I'll give you a treat. Tommy. Damn, you're just going to cut his eyebrow like that? You're just going to chunk off his whole eyebrow, bro? What do you mean? You can see now. Wow, you can see? Wow, good job, Dad. Good job. Up top. You happy with the outcome? I love it. He looks stubbly, bro. Wow. Look how happy he is. You can <laughs> see. Sit. Good boy. Good 
It's Jessica's turkey. <laughs> the way dude he stands on the counter with his feet up waiting. I was on TikTok the other day and I came across this video and this girl was talking about a high frequency wand, which is this thing right here. I didn't know that you could get one, you know, for at home because the only time I've ever had that used on me was when I'm getting a facial done at Beauty Lounge Med Spa. If she does like extractions or anything like that, she uses this high frequency wand and it has like a bunch of like benefits for your skin. And then on top of that, she'll like take it and like, let's say she like, did an extraction of a pimple, right? And it's like really inflamed and big. She'll like press this on there and it'll go from inflamed to completely flat. I'm like, wow, this tool is like magic. But I just thought it was like one of those salon things. Georgie's on the balcony like, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> His headphones in. <laughs> I'm just gonna like do a little sanitization. I don't know much about this, but I do know that it works. It's good for like tightening of your skin and wrinkles and it kills bacteria in your skin. Thank God, thank you Lord. I'm so grateful that I'm not struggling with any breakouts currently, but I think it would be nice for like skin tightening and smoothing and overall appearance of like your face, keeping things nice because you want to stay ahead of the game so your skin is nice. The wand for your hair, it like stimulates hair follicles. It creates new growth. There's like an orange light in there. And then I guess you're supposed to ground it, touch the base like this. Otherwise, I guess if you don't ground it first before putting it right on your face, it can zap you. Put it on my face and then let go. Ooh, that was talking. I don't know, man. It's supposed to be better with the gauze, but I don't really want to use the gauze. Your neck is so important. I know that your neck is important because, like, it shows your age. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to do this one. So this guy right here, I heard, is good for, like, your underneath your eyes. Ooh! But listen, I'm just trying this for the first time here. I'm still trying to figure it out. So listen, I'm still learning. I'm just so happy I have this tool at home, bro. Like, what? So then this one with the, like, ball tip. Like, if you have, like, a pimple, you literally just, like, press it on the pimple. It will go down. This right here has been, like, my problem area. I don't have any pimples in this area. I easily get little things underneath my skin right here. So that I'm preventing from those problem areas being a problem. How do you know this thing isn't giving you cancer? Georgie, it's just a, a high frequency. It's nothing to do with what you think it is. It's not that at It's nothing to do. Like, I know what it is, but I don't know how to explain what it is. It's just something about rubbing electronics on your face that, like, freaks me out. How long has this technology been out for? A long time. Georgie, they use this as face. These are, like, good things. I don't care. Babe, people put this is needles. Not and they put strings in your face so you look like this. And you want me to trust a company that does this to people? How often could you use the blah, blah, blah wand? Five days in between each other. Yeah, that's just what Google thing. I wanted to say goodbye to you guys properly. What you find to put your cameras on. Can I just take a picture of this real quick? Like, did you stack a candle on a candle? I did. Old so Spice, huh? What is it, a brand deal? <laughs> no. Papa fell well. Fail. Fair well with bubbles. Okay, I want to show you a trick. You ready? Mm -hmm. You gonna put on your lips? But don't, but okay, don't no, nobody do this when we're watching because it's very poisonous. I don't condone doing this. I saw this on TikTok. I want to see you do it. Wow, this is crazy. So you learned this on TikTok? Oh, I had to figure it out my own. Did you have any like parent supervision when you were a kid? Because this whole like putting like something light in your hair and then now soap in your mouth. What? Who raised you? My mother. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe because obviously the content here is just flying through the roof. Uh, we like to, we like to, you know, personally thank everybody who's commented on these vlogs, taking the time to uh, be with us. And, uh, you know? All right, I'll see you guys later.